By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode. Oh, that kind of bounced, bounced off. Uh, to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to open these two envelopes. And uh, this one's pretty special, so I'll keep this for last. Um, and these, I think they contain cards for a tournament that I'm organizing on Patreon. So we're going to have a The Dark Only tournament, which is going to start on the darkest day of the year. So that's somewhere in December. Um, but yeah, only cards of the dark, 60 card constructed. And of course, uh, with the exception of basic lands, right? Because you need some, some lands. Uh, let's have a look here. There we go. The rest is... Empty. Oop, here we can see the card that the, this order was all about, a preacher. Let me just uh, open the pack for you. Oh, let's see, let's at least keep the other one a secret, okay, shall we? At least there's then some excitement in this video. So let's first take a look at this card. Let me just get it out of the sleeve for you. It's a preacher. Uh, two white and one, Quentin Hoover, beautiful artwork, just a whole, the whole set. As you can see, it's inked, right? Here, you can even see it on camera. And that made it more affordable. And uh, what it does, it's a 1-1 one, one summon preacher, so you can tap it to gain control of one of opponent's creatures. And this is important, opponent chooses which target creature you control. If preacher becomes untapped, you lose control of this creature. You may choose not to untap Preacher as normal during your untap phase. You also lose control of the creature if Preacher leaves play or at the end of game. <laughs> That's, it's so interesting that they add that to it, or at the end of the game. Because if they wouldn't, then I guess you would have this idea that you could keep it. Like, this comes from the time when people were still playing for Anti. And, you know, for the people that don't know, I don't know if I have a lot of viewers that are actually more into... I don't know, Modern, Commander, all those other formats. Uh, the, the, these day, uh, today's day of Magic, that's what I'm trying to say, I guess. Um, in the early days of Magic, you would play for Anti. So you would shuffle up and then the first card on top of your library, you would put that in the middle of the table. That would be your Anti card. And if you actually lost a game of Magic, your opponent uh, would get the card if you were playing for Anti. Um, and I guess... That's why they added this this last line where they say preacher leaves play at the end. Uh, sorry, when preacher leaves play or at the end of game. So here, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit um, rambling on. It's been a long day, but preacher super happy. This is the other card cards. Actually, look at that. We've got multiple cards here. Let's start with this one. Ah, of course. Tifadar's Crusade. I just really like the art. Two white and one. Also a card from the dark. A sorcery. All goblins are destroyed. So this, of course, is a sideboard card. So like I said, I'm buying these cards because I've organized a... Uh, I'm going to organize uh, the dark-only tournament. So I figured out this could be useful because there are quite a lot of goblins in the dark. It could be a way to get rid of them. So an interesting sideboard card. And then we have, ah, Spitting Slug. Two green and one to cast for a 2-4. Yes, a 2-4 for only for three mana. That's actually pretty good. And you know what? It has an ability that doesn't make it worse. Usually with cards in old school, when you pay a little bit less on the casting cost for the power and toughness, there's a huge, ridiculous drawback. But for this card, it's actually pretty decent. So when you pay, pay a green and one, Spitting Slug gains first strike until end of turn. If this ability is not activated, all creatures blocking or blocked by Spitting Slug gain first strike until end of turn. So you can actually give it first strike. I mean, it has four toughness, which is pretty good. So I can just block, you know, two twos, three threes all day long. And if I want to, I can even give it first strike. So that's... That's actually pretty decent, and I now have a full playset. So maybe I'm going to play green, maybe I'm going to play white. Who knows? Everything is still open. And then the last card, here we go, and it is a safe haven, my second safe haven. 
Christopher Rush art. I just really, really like the art. I like this whole card. I know it's just not good enough. I know that, but I still want to play it. I don't care. I think this card is especially interesting with cards like Ball Lightning, for example, or of course with a card like Preacher. So this is actually a combo here. Uh, let's first just look at Save Haven at what it does. So pay two and tap, remove target creature you control from the game. This ability is played as an interrupt. During your upkeep, sacrifice Save Haven to return all creatures it has removed from the game directly into play. Treat this as if they were just summoned. Now, what you can do, it's quite interesting. First of all, when somebody tries to destroy your creatures, you can activate your Save Haven and you can save them, right? That's one thing you can do. But when you've got Preacher, remember, if I activate Preacher, my opponent can give me a creature of their choice. It's not my choice. So what if they give me their crappy 1-1 Mons Goblin Raiders? Well, what I can do then is I can tap my Save Haven, put the Mons Goblin Raiders in the Save Haven so it's out of the game, it's footsie. And then next turn, I untap my Preacher and I steal another creature and I can just keep doing that. So it's actually quite nice. It's a quite nice trick. So I think these two cards, they make a really nice match. So that's definitely something that I've been thinking about in my, in my brewing process uh, with the dark. If you have any advice for me, if you would build a the dark constructed deck, so a deck completely built out of the dark cards, what colors would you go for? What strategy would you go for? Would you play in single color? Would you play multiple color? Um, remember, you, we don't have access to dual lands because they're just not in uh, the dark. So it's only basic lands. Okay. So anyway, this is, um, these are, I should say, the dark cards that I purchased. So I'm just going to put them here because now we have a very interesting envelope. Um, I've been showing you guys on the channel a few uh, matches from um, a format called Seven Point Singleton. I believe I've done two finals on the live stream and there are two people behind the Seven Point Singleton. That's uh, Thomas Ribé, I guess you say Thomas because he's French, and that is uh, Mikkel, and I guess you say Mikael because he's also French. So two Frenchmen um, who've organized this seven point singleton and it has gotten much bigger. There are much more people into that seven point singleton format. If you uh, want to have a look, if you're curious, and I can tell you it's really a fun format, then uh, you can check the description below. So in that description, I'll put a link to their Facebook page. And um, a while ago, uh, Thomas asked me, can you give me your address? We want to send you something. So I'm really curious to find out what it is. I love it here, Tim the Enchanter. I like it. And uh, let's open it up. There we go. I don't want to spoil too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rip the envelope here. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> let's see. pretty smart so we see I already see a little logo they have the Dwarven Warrior as their logo look oh, it's hard to see seven point singleton 9394 that's what I mean that's really something of old school isn't it oh look at look at the amount of tape here it's kind of hard to see I guess right in camera but just gonna take it off camera for a second to try to get all the tape off Wow, this is going to be, I actually think I'm going to have to get a knife. So I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't leave. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am again. Man, I mean, you just don't expect so much, ah, so much uh, sellotape. Let's have a look. Oh man, I don't want to stab myself here. Okay, there we go. So now it's open. Okay. <sighs> really curious. And actually, um, they run a tournament every month. And everybody can join. And they're really lenient with reprints as well. So 
don't worry about that. So I would definitely advise to visit their Facebook page if you're kind of interested in the format. So we've got a sleeve, we've got a top loader, we've got an open up envelope, we've got a knife that we need it. And let's see, gag, look, now we can see the logo properly. This is very cool actually, really nice. Wow, okay, let's turn it around, shall we maybe? Yeah, let's just turn it around here, boom! And of course, it's a Timmy, and it's actually a French Timmy, and I don't own a French Timmy. So that is pretty sweet. Look at it here, it's signed over here as well. Sorche Sibarite. Do I pronounce it correctly here? Probably not. Wow, very cool. You can still tap it for one point of damage, doesn't matter if it's French. Now I kind of want to draw a baguette on it or something. Very cool. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas and Mikael, for sending me this beautiful card. It's very much appreciated. I've also sent uh, some stuff your way. It's not as cool as this one, though. And I mean, that stamp is... Wow, that is really, really kick-ass. Um, I just want to thank everybody for watching another mail day here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by leaving a like, subscribing if you're not a sub yet, leave a comment and sharing this on your socials. All that stuff helps. You can also support our channel financially and you can do that by becoming a Patreon. So actually I should say by becoming a patron so you can visit Timmy Talks on Patreon. There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on the link that will take you to my Patreon page and there you can find out how you can support the channel. For now, thank you for watching and let's take a look at our amazing, fantastic, super cool channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomaar gezien.